Hello everybody, Don Sprite here. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on depth and layers in Game Maker Studio 2 because it is a bit different in other Game Maker Studios such as 1.4. So let's get straight into it. Let's go into my object player here. As you can see, sick another code for now. There is no depth option. There is no where you can input a depth such as a thousand. It's not in the physics. It's nowhere. It's not here. In other Game Makers it was. So quite a lot of people have come a bit confused with that and I was. So let's go into rooms and I'll explain it quickly. So we have layers over here. I like my layers uh, on the right hand side or in the room editor. <laughs> and here are all my layers. You can delete that one. That's not needed. So first we have this layer on top. This is Drew above everything. So if we're thinking of it in a sort of pancake style if you will this is the top pancake, I I guess you could say. Uh, this is Drew above everything. Below that is the tiles. That's Drew above the background. And the background is right at the bottom. It's the bottom pancake. It's, it's the one that everything is resting upon. And that's how you want it right now. Or that's how I want it for this example. You could change it up a bit and make it a bit more exciting. You can also do things with multiple backgrounds such as different backgrounds scrolling at different times to give a real sense of depth. However, this is the system in Game Maker 2 for depth, um, the layers. So on player I have the player and I also have the bat which is the enemy. The tile is of course the tile set <coughs> which you would have saw in my other video if you watched that on backgrounds and the background is in case you want a, a solid background. So now there is also a, a sort of sub layer if you will a in the layer properties let's drag this over here which really the word depth can be used here so as you can see object player is at the top this means it will be drawn first it will be drawn before everything thus it will be behind everything if we were to put this wall in front of a player you can see it's it's above him or it looks like it's in front of him if we were to draw the player after the wall he is above the wall. So that's how depth works in Game Maker Studio 2. Pretty much, that's the simplicity of it. Now it does go a bit, a bit more complex. You can do some things in code as well. If we open up my code here for the collision with the object bat. So what I want to happen here, I want my player to disappear, and I want in his place this object to spawn. OBJ blood. Which is right here, a quick sprite I made. So, instance destroy, of course. And now, in Game Maker Studio 2, you don't have instance create. You either have instance create depth or layer. Now, instance create did exist in 1.4, I believe. It doesn't exist in 2. So, I used instance create layer here. And what it does is it creates at the X and Y of the player. It spawns on the layer called player. This is my instances layer. I renamed it player. Uh, the one at the top, remember, the top pancake. On that layer, it spawns in his place object blood. Now, instance create depth is similar. It's fairly similar. So we can do here at the X and Y of the player. Um, well, here's where you would put the name of the layer. However, on depth, you actually put a custom depth. So you could put a thousand, for example and then spawn object blood at a depth of a thousand. Now I don't recommend using this um, for the simple reason it may become a bit complicated. Game Maker Studio 2 is trying to move to this sort of system of layers here, room layers, and it is much more simple. So I recommend simply using this. You can also use a custom depth here, which is the same as creating an instance with the depth code. The instance create depth. It's the exact same here. However, like I said, I don't recommend using it. You can use it for a, a bit more of a complex game and a bit more of a complex style. However, starting out, definitely use these. Simply drag and drop. It's very simple to get the hang of. And once you've been using it for a little while, it just becomes second nature. So I hope this helped explain layers and depth in Game Maker Studio 2. Be sure to subscribe for more frequent, simple tutorials. I'll be making many more of them. And uh, have a nice day.